Welcome back to Pike County Central, getting ready for game number two as Pike Central boys and the Belfry boys will go at it. Let's see. Let's look. Pike Central has, is nine and seven on the season right now. Larry, they, let's see. Go down and look at some of their numbers. They shoot the ball, or average shoot, put 70 points of ball game up at, at night. And they shoot, they shoot the ball pretty well. They shoot field goal percentage of 49%. And let's see, they hit 26 field goals a game. Let's see, get some other, got three point, the three point right there, 33.2 as a team. But they got a uh, couple of guys, they're shooting, it, they don't shot, shot very many shots. But they're shooting it well. 60% uh, apiece for Bobby Billiter and Jameer Knuckles. 57 for Grant Hall. 37 for Jaden Rignum. 34 for Jaden Stewart. So that's that's pretty good shooting for a, as a team right there. They shoot 75% from the free throw line. Let's see. Jalen Rignan is 83.3. Peyton Owens is 76.9. Jameer Knuckles, 75, 73 for Jaden Stewart, they average 28 rebounds a game, so they got a pretty good solid game going. Yeah, they, uh, you know, and, and a lot of athletes too on that team. Yes. Uh, actually, it's surprising uh, uh, that their uh, record's not a little better than what it is. You're right. Uh, with with, with the athletes that they've had. Beverly, on the other hand, comes in five and nine on the season, shooting 42 percent from the field, 26 from three point line, and only 59 percent from the free throw line. So. The shooting percentages look, and uh, that could be uh, 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 one of the reasons that they're five and nine on the season. Not yeah. very good uh, uh, shooting percentages as far as that goes. They're averaging 57 points a game. Got two double-digit scores: Eric Rash and uh, Eric Daniels, uh, 15 and 11 points respectively. Uh, as far as three-point shooting, they're averaging. Uh, four three-pointers a game, but uh, only shooting 26% from behind the line. Uh, looks like uh, Eric Rash has attempted 111 of those uh, three-point shots, and then the next one would be Carter Jude at 50 points. Free throws are averaging six free throws made a game at 59%, coming down with 32 rebounds. Our leading rebound is McCaden uh, Maynard and Eric Daniels. Uh, that's seven rebounds and six rebounds. So uh, they're, oh, uh, this would be uh, Pike Central's first district game. Yes. According to our <clears throat> stats we got. And Belfry is 0-1 in the district. So and unlike uh, the first game, Pike Central's girls is 3-0 in the district. They only play four district games. So uh, they pretty well got, got that one locked up as far as the number one seed. But the boys are still wide open. Oh, yeah, it is a late game. And a lot of that could be due to the weather we've had not been able to get some games in there in the last couple of weeks. Right. So that's one of those things. It's going to change up the way things played this year because it moved our, district, our regional tournament back a little bit too, I believe. Right uh, Right now, Phelps is uh, uh, number one in the district. Uh, they beat Belfry. And uh, they, they, that game was the only game that's been played so far in the district. So, uh, should be a good contest. Uh, both teams got a lot of good athletes. Uh, of course, Pike Central, you know, with uh, uh, Jalen Rigdon and uh, Jalen uh, uh, Stewart, two of the uh, top players uh, uh, in the uh, 15th region, but uh, got a good uh, supporting cast, you know, Peyton uh, Owens and, and uh, Sloan. You got uh, Grant. Uh, Jameer Knuckles comes in off the bench, you know, the big freshman. So, uh, ought to be a pretty, uh, pretty exciting game here. I think so. I think Pike Central would love to get this into a run and gun game. And I, again, I think we offer probably like to get it set up, maybe sit down and get in a half court game. Well, I think you're right on that. Uh, if you look at uh, uh, Pike Central's uh, schedule, uh, they got beat the first game of the season over to Hazard by Knott County Central, uh, 46 to 23. Uh, uh, or 46 to 43. Pike Central only put 43 points up, and then the next game, uh, three days later, we had that game right here at Grundy, Virginia. They put 93 up. So yeah. that goes to show you if if they're up in the higher numbers, it favors the Hawks. The lower the uh, total is on the scoreboard, uh, you know, favors the other team. 
This Pike Central team still a young team. Only two seniors on the team. Yes. So I tell you, it, it, I think it's going to be a lot of energy up and down the floor. Both teams are going to come ready to play. And we'll find out here in just a few minutes. We'll take a break. This is Intermountain Sports Network. In 2022, one in 200 Americans found themselves victims to cybercrime. Internet theft and open Wi-Fi networks are one way for criminals to access your personal information and devices. So what can you do to protect yourself? Always use a secure password for your home Wi-Fi network and get Plume Adaptive Wi-Fi from Gearheart Broadband. Starting at just $4.98 per month, you can have a custom Wi-Fi network with built-in security and parental controls. Find out more today at imctv.com slash plume and get protected. Dreaming of watching what you want, when you want, where you want? Stop dreaming and start streaming with Gearheart TV. Watch hundreds of choices on your favorite devices with the power of cloud DVR. Start over and replay TV. Personal profiles with parental controls. Free TV on demand. And TV everywhere to watch on mobile devices from anywhere. Gearheart TV makes your streaming dreams come true at great low rates. Get in touch now to sign up. As we start a fresh new year, it's a great time for a home Wi-Fi upgrade. For wireless devices, your internet's only as fast as your Wi-Fi. And with so many screens and gadgets, you need all the speed you can get. That's why Gearheart Broadband offers Plume Adaptive Wi-Fi to reach every corner of your home with no slow zones. Get maximum performance from our super fast, reliable speeds. Contact Gearheart Broadband and add Plume Wi-Fi for a great new year. Welcome to 2024. So while you're out breaking all those resolutions you made, Appalachian Wireless will help you keep the most important ones, saving money and staying connected. Appalachian Wireless is starting the new year with up to $600 off select devices. And that's with a new or renewed line on an Appalachian Advantage Unlimited plan or mix and match up to $600 off. So stay connected in 2024. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Terms and conditions apply. See AppalachianWireless.com for details. Gearheart Security is here to give you some peace of mind with our smart home security system. With 24-7 monitoring and access to your home cameras and other smart devices, our customers. Find out more about our smart home security solutions at GearheartSecurity.com or give us a call for a custom quote at 1-800-264-1730. We also have financing options available. Families matter with Gearheart Security. Appalachian Wireless is not slowing down in the new year. In fact, this deal went so well, it's still going on. An iPhone 13 128 gig for a penny with a two-year contract on the mix and match or unlimited plan, new or renewed line. This is literally while supplies last. One penny for an iPhone 13 128 gig. Terms and conditions do apply. See Appalachian Wireless for complete details. A new year, a new you, and a new device. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. When life's unfortunate events happen, we sometimes see people at their worst. That's why we make it our goal to give them our best. If you've been involved in an auto accident, have a workers' compensation, Social Security, or SSI claim, you need an attorney with proven results. You need John Earl Hunt. I'm attorney John Earl Hunt. I believe in the U.S. Constitution, and I support the American flag. I'm a country lawyer. I'd be honored to represent you in your case. I'll treat you right. I'll do the best I can to help you. The power of fiber makes your Gearheart Fiber Bundle even better. Fiber provides the highest bandwidth available to deliver more crystal clear HD, fast, reliable internet and Wi-Fi to power video streaming, gaming, and sharing on every device with no waiting. Plus, E911 Secure Fusion Phone with unlimited local calling and popular features. Build your fiber-powered bundle. Call or visit Gearheart Fiber online to learn more. Now the big guy's left his cheer, and the wrapping's all undone. We've got great new toys and gear that need more speed to run. From tablets to our morning brew, our bandwidth needs keep growing, but an upgrade to the latest speeds keeps our precious Wi-Fi flowing. With lots of new gadgets around the house, it's time to step up to Gearheart Broadband Faster Internet and Plume Wi-Fi. Start the new year with an internet upgrade. Call or click imctv.com today. Welcome back to the Hawks Nest here on campus, Pike County High School. As we're about 
four minutes away from the starting lineups of tonight's second game between Pike Central and Belfry. This will be the boys as Pike Central girls come away with a big win in that first game, Charlie. And excuse me, as always, you can see tonight's game on WPRG TV Channel 5 and HD 105. Also, WPRG TV website, WPRG TV app. If you don't have that, we encourage you to download it. It's a free app. Just go to the app store, WPRG TV app. See all the activities that the crew carries there at the station. Also, YouTube and Facebook streaming live on those also. And, and we encourage you to send us a comment on who you're rooting for, where you're rooting from. If you're on Facebook, like and share with your friends and let them know about these games being played here tonight, Charlie. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it, I think it's going to be, I think it'll be a battle because these two teams are, I mean, it's, this has been a rivalry for a long time. And a rivalry since it's Pike Central. It goes back to Johns Creek, but Johns Creek and Belfry was a big rival. Well, uh, and the rivalry started uh, here tonight uh, in warm-ups as Belfry came out in the red uh, warm-up jerseys. Uh, they had the uh, tops were solid red and the paints was red and white striped uh, like the Globetrotters. And then here comes Pike Central out and they've got the blue and white paint uh, yep. striped on yep. uh, with the uh, solid blue jersey. So yep. uh, I don't know if Pike Central has wore those warm-ups before the last time we was here they didn't have them right. i can say that so i think it's already started a little bit maybe belfry coming out i like the look the uh, gray trimmed in red uniforms are nice easy numbers to read for us old guys pike central in the white with the orange trim and the blue numbers yes these uh, basketball uh, jerseys is a little bit easier to uh, get the numbers off sometimes off those football jerseys right yes they are <laughs> especially when they do those fancy numbers on those football jerseys. And if it rains, it gets muddy and all that other good stuff. And tomorrow night, the Intermountain Sports crew will be down at the Junior Newsom Arena at, on the hill at Betsy Lane as we'll have a doubleheader down there tomorrow night. And it'll be a district uh, matchup uh, also as the Betsy Lane Bobcats will be hosting the Floyd Central Jaguars. So... A lot of good basketball action still here tonight and some more coming to you tomorrow night. So we encourage you to, if you can't get out and support your local teams, tune it in to the WPRG Intermountain Sports. Both teams making it over to the benches now as we're inside of a minute before we have our starting lineups. Yeah, we're waiting on him to see if we can get him ready or not. See if I can get his attention here. He'll look up. 31 seconds. As we said, this here will be the first district game for Pike Central. See when the rematch be uh, for these two teams. It's February the 6th, Pike Central will travel over to Belfry for the second game. Each uh, year you'll play two games home and away in the district. Up first, the starting lineups for the visiting Belfry Pirates. Number one, Eric Daniels. Number zero, Carter Jude. Number three, McCaden Maynard. Number 10, Bryce Hagee. And number 33, Zade Rash. And now the starting lineups for your Pike County Central Hawks. Number two, Grant Hall. Number four, Blake Adams. Number one, Jake Sloan. Number 21, Jaden Stewart. And number zero, Jalen Rigdon. 
Let's give it up for your Pike County Central Hawks. And both teams getting your final huddle ready to go here. Same officiating crew we had in the first one, Larry, so. Yeah, right. The gum girls didn't run them up and down the floor too bad. Maybe not so they too might bad. be able to keep up with them. We've right. got a viewer, Randall Barker, watching from Columbus, Ohio. One of our former coaches, Gary Keithley, looking in. And Belfort controls the tap. They'll let Daniels bring it into the front court. Man to man out there by Pike Central. Daniels will get it over to Jude. Jude kicks it back outside. Rash, they're gonna work it around the top. Comes back to Daniels. Drives a drive by Maynard and a foul. Or Hagee, I'm sorry. And that foul is gonna go against Rigdon, I think. I think you're right. Yeah, Jalen Rigdon picks up his first foul. Now throw it out the top. And ball tipped away. Be picked up by Stewart on the loose ball. He'll throw it ahead to Rigdon. Rigdon lays it in for two. And that's what the Hawks like to do right there, Charlie. Get the ball and get yep. it out. Mike Central in that full court man to man. Bringing it up, Daniels. He'll get it over now to Jude. Go down in the corner. Let's see. Daniels. Rash with it out top. Rash double team. Dribbling around, he'll give it up to Daniels. Daniels wanting to drive. Rigdon backing up three on its way. Jude, it's good. Boy, I tell you, that was I'm way sorry, out that, there. That was Rash, I'm sorry. Number 33, 33 Rash. Rash. That was six feet behind the uh, three-point line. Yes, it was. That was definitely downtown right there. Yeah, for sure. Box Central back on the other end with it. They get it over to Sloan. Looking back out top, Rigdon tried to go underneath. It'll be tipped out of bounds. Belfry in a 2-3 zone, that trip down. Looking for Stewart there, couldn't get it to him. Rigdon looking to get it in. Fires it out top. That's Adams. Hill, Hall, not Hill. Stewart will get it back out front to Rigdon. They'll reset their offense. Out top, Pike Central working it around. Hall for three, no. Tipped around, rebound comes off inside to Belfry's Maynard. Into the front court. Out top with his Daniels. Brings over to the left side, he'll kick it. Down. We'll have a uh, offensive foul, illegal pick. And it looks like that's going to go on uh, Jude. No, they're going to change it to zero to three, Maynard. Number three, Maynard. Pike Central in front court. Three to two lead, Belfry. Stewart, they get it back out top to Rigdon. Our Stewart out of the corner for three. It's good. And if he gets heated up, could be trouble. Yes. We've seen him get hot before. Yes, we have. The end of the front court with it is Daniels. He gives it up out front. Crash. Gives it inside. Shot. We're going to have a foul on the floor. And that's going to go against Stewart. That'll be his first. His first. Team second. Ball knocked away. Pike Central comes out of there with it. Get it up quick to Rigdon. Rigdon splits the defenders, and he'll get fouled going to the basket. And I think that's Eric Daniels going to pick yeah, that one so. up. I think so. It's going to be his first. Both teams with two fouls. Four fouls whistled, less than three minutes played. Yep, you're right. If that keeps up, uh, we'll get to see how strong a bench both, both these teams, teams have. <laughs> Rigdon at the line with two free, free throws. throws. Good. Rigdon, an 80 plus percent free throw shooter. He'll have one more coming his way. 
Second free throw is on its way. It's good as well. They'll get the ball into Jude. Jude throws it into the front court and tipped around, but it'll come down with it. Daniels, and he'll try to go over to Hagee. Out of the corner, three, no good. Rash, rebound Pike Central. Stewart pushing it up the floor, going to take it, kicks it into the corner, three on its way. Adams, no. Tipped around, and Hall comes out of there with it. He'll kick it back out front, and it will be Belfry basketball. Yep, first turnover for Pike Central. Good hustle that time by Grant Hall, the yes. little man uh, coming up for that loose basketball. Then and throws it away, trying to get it back outside to his teammate. Peyton Owens checking in for Pike Central. Adams will go to the bench. Into the front court with it, Jude. They try to go down inside to Maynard. There's Hagee, I think. Went. Nope. Yeah, Hagee can't get it to go. Rigdon comes down with the ball. Rigdon takes it in the lane, kicks it in the corner to Stewart. Stewart gets it back out front. Sloan. Uh, or Hall. Hall. Now goes over to Jacob Sloan. Back to Hall. Stewart. Rigdon takes it in the lane, and it'll be thrown out of bounds. Two quick turnovers, Pike Central. Belfry so far with two. David Hagee checking in. Hagee came in for Maynard. We got a technical call on uh, Pike Central's bench here. I thought they just gave him a warning, but no, they... I don't know what he said to him. It looked like he was talking to one of his players. Yeah, and it looks like number 33, Eric Rash, going to the foul line for Belfry. Rash, just a freshman. And, yeah, they better get it on the right goal. Yeah, yeah, might help, might it? Officials might have got a little uh, out of whack, too. They lined him up on Pike Central's basketball goal to shoot free throws. So, two shots coming. Belfry Charlie starts two seniors and three freshmen. In and out. And Rash misses the free throw. Gets the second one to bounce in. Seven to four. Pike Central with the lead. Belfry will have the basketball. 4-10 to play here in the first quarter. Used all the iron on that one. Oh, didn't yeah, he did. And he'll bring it into the front court, Daniels. He gets it over to Rash. Stolen away by Rigdon, and now we're going to get a quick foul call on Belfry's Daniels. And that's going to be his second. That's probably a good foul, though, because if he gets that other step, we're looking at a throw down. Oh, yeah. Well, Rigdon will bring it into the front court for Pike Central. Gets it back out top of the key. Goes inside and shot up and good in there by Peyton Owens. Good work down low on that one. Into the front court and again is Daniels. Nine to four, Belfry still with just the one field goal. Daniels coming into the paint, goes down low and they'll throw it back out to Jude. Jude has it blocked in there by Stewart, out of bounds. And checking in for Pike Central, looks like is number five, Caden Crum. Number 44 for Belfry. David Hagee. Uh, yeah, Hagee stays in the lineup. They had a, who was it came in for them? Number five. Double teamed out front. And we're gonna get a timeout called by Belfry. 
I think it's, it's a 30-second yeah, timeout. Yeah, 30 30-second timeout. Number five, that was Hunter Hilton checked in for Belfry. I thought they uh, had one checked in. Tonight's game's brought to you by Gearheart Digital, Intermountain Cable, Gearheart Security, Appalachian Wireless, Gearheart Fiber, and attorney John Earl Hunt. Appreciate those fine folks allowing us to be here. Pike Central with a five-point lead, nine to three here. Rash saw uh, four points for Belfry so far. Hit the three-pointer and then one to two from the foul line. Pike Central's had three players score so far. Yeah. Rigdon, Stewart, and Owens. Both teams with three team fouls, but you've got uh, Eric Daniels with two, and one of the team fouls for Pike Central was uh, Coach Eric Ratliff. That ter yeah, technical. Technical. Belfry working it around. They get it back out top to Jude. He'll give it back out front. There's Rash. Rash had it lost, picked up over there again, though, by Belfry. Rash, a three on its way, no good. Ball tipped out of bounds. It should be Pike Central basketball. Yep. Pike Central four to two on the rebounding edge right now. Into the front court, Rigdon. He'll get it back. Goes down in the corner, Sloan, three on its way, in and out. Tipped away, and Rigdon runs it down. He'll throw it back out front to Crum. Now Rigdon, free throw line jumper is good. Jalen Rigdon, six of the 11 points right now. There's a steal by Rigdon. Quick hands, and they're gonna get the charge, good call. And that's going to be his second. And Good Jake. defense by Carter Jew getting back and getting set up to draw the charge. And Number two yeah. coming in the lineup, back or back in the lineup, we'll say, for Pike Central Grand Hall. Like As Brad Billiter may have, didn't he check in? Yeah, number 11. Yes. Out top with it is Jude. Goes down inside, laying it in. Beautiful pass. Matt Maynard, strong move to the basket. Yes, that, and that was a thread in the needle on the pass that time. Into the front court with it, Pike Central. They get it over to Crum. Back out to Hall. Nice pass and off the glass and good. Down there, that was Brad Billiter, wasn't it? Number 11? Yes, number 11, Brad Billiter. And that was just a beautiful passing, good ball movement right. that time by the Hawks. There's a ball knocked away by Pike, Pike Central. We'll stay with Belfry. 13 to 6, Pike Central leading, minute 25 to go here in the first quarter. Belfry will have it under the own bucket. Throw it out front to Hilton. To down in the corner. You go inside, nice move. In Maynard there. again. Maynard, yep. McCaden Maynard with two back-to-back -back baskets. Yes, both of them right down at uh, the bucket. Pike Central looking at a little no-look pass, and it was stolen away. Well, nearly stolen back on the other end. And Belfer will push it up the other way. And what we got? We'll get a foul on... Stewart. Stewart. That's going to be his second. Rigdon and Stewart both the two big guns for Pike Center with two fouls. 53 seconds left here in the first quarter. So yep. foul trouble brewing. Yeah, it is. That's not good. Free throw no good out there by Hilton. Belfry not taking advantage of it so far. They're one of three from the foul line. One more free throw coming. And this one is good. Hunter Hilton. 
13 to nine. It's a four point ball game with under a minute to play here in the first quarter. A lot of action and not a lot of scoring right no, now. No, you're right. Pike Central will walk it up the floor. Grand Hall out at the point now. Hall just a freshman. Gets it over to um, Owens. Owens looking back out top. Goes over to Stewart. They're going to play for one, looks like. Yes. <clears throat> out top again. Stewart will hold on to it for a minute. Gets it back out front to Hall. Crum Hall <coughs> drives into the paint, nearly loses it. Pike Central comes up with it, shot up and good in there by Peyton Owens. <coughs> Owens, another nice move in the paint. Walt on Belfry. 2.9 seconds left. Pike Central have a chance to get up the last shot. Yep, they all, you know, they've got the quickness to get it up there quickly. Well, no pressure in the backcourt uh, by Belfry. Stewart, half-court shot, way off. So at the end of one, 15 to nine, Pike Central is the Intermountain Sports Network. Welcome to 2024. So while you're out breaking all those resolutions you made, Appalachian Wireless will help you keep the most important ones, saving money and staying connected. Appalachian Wireless is starting the new year with up to $600 off select devices. And that's with a new or renewed line on an Appalachian Advantage Unlimited plan or mix and match up to $600 off. So stay connected in 2024. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Terms and conditions apply. See AppalachianWireless.com for details. Gearheart Security is here to give you some peace of mind with our smart home security system. With 24-7 monitoring and access to your home cameras and other smart devices for our customers. Find out more about our smart home security solutions at gearheartsecurity.com or give us a call for a custom quote at 1-800-264-1730. We also have financing options available. Families matter with Gearheart Security. 15 to 9 here at the Hawks Nest. Pike Central leading, heading into the second quarter, and looks like Pike Central is going to have the basketball to start that quarter, Charlie. And yep. a lot of action, a lot of fouls being called. Let's see, we had uh, seven total fouls, two each for Rigdon and Stewart, and also two for Eric Daniels of Belfry. So uh, you get two in the first quarter in high school, that's, uh, that's a, a lot, little bit yeah. of foul trouble brewing. Yep, Hall, nice pass inside. Good look in there that time for Owens. Couldn't get it to go. We're going to have a foul. Well, we're going to foul on Belfry, looks like. And that's going to go on Hagee. Hagee, uh, Hunter 44. Hagee. David Hagee. Hunter David, David Hunter. Oh, okay. I just got him David in the book, so. Okay. Oh, was, okay. I tried. I'm David, I don't know what I was thinking. I have Hunter Hill. Stewart misses the three, and Belfry comes off with the rebound. Belfry bringing it into the front court, Daniels. Man-to-man Daniels, -man yep. defense, Pike Central. Daniels trying to, having a hard time getting away from uh, Grand Hall. Yeah, and I think one more dribble, and he'd had the five-second call counted on that one. I seen the official counting it off. Got a shoestring loose. There we go. Now we're ready. Don't know, if, yep. don't know if it's on the green shoe or the orange That's one. That's right. Rash with it out front. Trying to drive. Gets put, knocked away. Bring it back out front now with uh, Daniels. Daniels trying to go down inside. Knocked away. Stolen by Stewart. On the other way. And laying it up and in is Peyton Owens. Peyton Owens had him a good start. Got six points so far. Yep. We're going to get Owens for the push. That's going to be his first foul. Six fifty-seven left first half. Pike Central enjoying an eight-point lead, 17-9. Belfry with the basketball. We'll have an illegal pick down underneath. That'll be on McCaden Maynard. 
And that's going to be Maynard's second. So both teams now with two players. Maynard coming out. With two fouls each. Hunter Hilton coming back in. Pike Central bringing it up the floor. Grand Hall. Stewart with it out front. Puts it on the floor. Pulls up from 10. Good. Jaden Stewart makes it 19 to 9, Pike Central. His second bucket of the night. The other one was a three. Five points total. Going quickly back the other way. Daniels takes it down inside. One handed shot off the glass. No good. Back to the rebound put up and in by. Belfry, was that Hilton? I think that was Hilton. Hunter Hilton, that's who I'm going to give it to. Likes the nice pass inside. Stewart with the reverse. Assist out there to Peyton Owens. Owens with the steal, goes up, has it blocked, picked up by Hall, gives it back to Stewart, back outside. Peyton Owens pulls up, no. Rebound comes off inside to David um, Peyton Hagee. Shot pulled up by Daniels, no good. And ball picked up in there, Jaden Stewart. Stewart takes it down the lane and has it knocked out of bounds or loses it out of bounds. Yep. And Car Carter Jude will check back in for Belfry. A lot of action, no yep. scoring target. Again, yep. Still an eight. Get it up under the other way. Ball knocked loose. And still fighting for it on the floor. It'll be the three on its way. No. Rebound comes off inside. Shot up. No in there that time by Hagee. Bryce Hagee. Ball knocked out of bounds. It'll go to Pike Central. Biff read two looks at it and couldn't get it to fall. What we got? Oh, got a substitution coming in. Okay, yeah. looks like number 44 for Pike Central. Pike Central is that, uh, that, I don't have a 44. Don't have a 44. Is that Knuckles wearing 44? I've got him on my 33 is what I've 33. got. 33. I think that's him, though. Yep. Change the numbers, Otis. Pike Central with it out front. They get it over to Sloan. There's a three out of the corner. Stewart, no. And we're going to get a call. Looks like it's going to be I on Grant Hall. Grant Hall, that's going to be his first. Second for, or the first team foul for Pike Central. Two In the for quarter, yeah. That's hard to keep up with. Yes. There's a steal. And shot up and good. Wow. By Jacob Sloan. What a move. Five turnovers now for Belfry. Quickly going back the other way. Pull up at free throw line. No good. Was that Rash? And Rash with the three is good. Well, he's not bashful, is he? Not a bit. Keeps firing him. And Belfry's taking over the rebounding uh, edge now, 10-7. Stewart to seven. takes it in, lays it off the glass for two. That was a nice-looking move yes. by Stewart. And I don't understand why the big man don't play down there more. I don't he likes to shoot that three-point shot, and he's good at there, but, you know, vers uh, yep. versify your game. Nobody picks him up until the end, and they're going to pick up a foul. That's Carter Jude. Just kept pushing. Nobody stopped the drive. And that's going to go on Knuckles. <laughs> Well, let's see. Well, they got it on one still. Blake Adams and Blake, Ad Blake Adams got the foul, Larry. Oh, was it Adams? Yep. Number, number four. Number four, yep. Oh, okay. Free throw was good. That's Jude's Jude first one points. More. Yep. Makes them both. 25-16, Pike Central, 4-10 to play here in the first half. Into the front court. Hall, three straight away off the glass. No. Rebound comes off inside to Hunter Hilton. Jude will bring it up the floor. Let's see if they stop his penetration this time. They do get him early. And Jude gets it back out top. Ball knocked loose by Pike Central. Hall, Hall taking it to the rack. Lays it up and in. 
Grant Hall with the steal in the basket. And Belfry throws it away. And Belfry multiplying on the turnovers now. Yeah, I think Coach has seen enough. He's going to have time out. It's going to be a full. 27-16, Pike Central, 338 to play in the half. We'll be right back. Center Mountain Sports Network. Dreaming of watching what you want, when you want, where you want? Stop dreaming and start streaming with Gearheart TV. Watch hundreds of choices on your favorite devices with the power of cloud DVR. Start over and replay TV. Personal profiles with parental controls. Free TV on demand. And TV everywhere to watch on mobile devices from anywhere. Gearheart TV makes your streaming dreams come true at great low rates. Get in touch now to sign up. Appalachian Wireless is not slowing down in the new year. In fact, this deal went so well, it's still going on. An iPhone 13, 128 gig for a penny. With a two-year contract on the mix and match or unlimited plan. New or renewed line. This is literally while supplies last. One penny for an iPhone 13, 128 gig. Terms and conditions do apply. See Appalachian Wireless for complete details. A new year, a new you, and a new device. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. 7 16. 338 left first half. Fight Central with the lead as Jalen Rigdon on the bench with two fouls. Stewart played with two, but he's got six points here in the corner. And also, you got Sloan Owens and Grant Hall pitching in with a bucket each. So I think they've taken Stewart out for a break here. Well, you know, you got those two fouls, so you got the nine point lead, or the 11 point right. lead, excuse me. So don't take the chance. They got to go inside the hall, and it'll be knocked out by Belfry. Hall lost a shoe. And take him a minute, put it back, we'll to take it off, retight. Yep. It was a little tight. Now he's about to get there. Well, that's a safety issue. Man needs to tie his shoe right. Oh, yeah, he needs to get them tied up, that's for sure. There he is. We're ready to go. Uh, he's played, Hall's played a good game for him. He has. Just a freshman. Hall goes inside the knuckles. A nice handoff inside to Owens for two. Owens basket assist knuckles. No, Owens now with eight points. All of them coming right at the rim. There they go the other way down on the baseline. Shot up. No, being fought five for three. Bell put up and the second one goes in. That was Hunter Hilton. Hunter Hilton. Yep. Well, he worked for that one. Yes, didn't he? he did. Pike Central back the other way, three on its way, and it is good by Jacob Sloan. Jude bringing it up the floor, throws it ahead to Daniels. Go back to Jude. Jude deep three. Yeah, off in front of the rim, no good. Knocked out of bounds by Owens. It'll stay with Belfry. And Belfry really picked it up on the boards, Charlie. Yes. They've got 13 rebounds now to Pike Central, seven. Of course, Pike Central's not missing on right, that. That's end. true. There are no offensive rebounds, are no. there? No. Shot put up and good by Daniels. That's his first bucket of the night. That's a good looking uh, shot in the paint, too. Pike Central, Uncles kicks it back out. There's three for Sloan. He's short. Rebound Hall goes up, has it blocked at a foul. And, and that's going to go against uh, Minder, and that's going to be his third. So, two shots coming now for Grand Hall. Shots no good. Rebound comes off. Well, two, two shots. Yeah. It. And they'll finally get a chance to Send Maynard to the bench. Hagee comes back in. David Hagee. Yeah, got two of them out there. Second free throw's good. 33-20 with 227 now to play here in the first half. Belfry gets it in over there to Bryce Hagee. They get it back to Daniels. 
Daniels throwing it ahead in corner three quickly up and in that time by Rash. And that's his third one of the night, Charlie. I ain't a bit bashful, you're right. Just a freshman. He sees daylight, he's launching it, isn't he? He is. Go inside to Knuckles. Knuckles tries to pass it inside, gives, turns it over. Quickly going back the other way, Daniels. Layup, no good. Rebound, put back up and in. David Hagee. David Hagee, yep. 33-25, they've cut into that lead of Fox Central. Sloan, or, yep, Sloan. Jacob Sloan with it out top. Gets it back over to Crum. Trying to go down inside, they'll kick it back out. Sloan, three on its way. No good, rebound in there, Knuckles pumps. Puts it up in and one. Big man using his body size on that one, wasn't he? I know he's a stout young man, we've seen that. Yes. And who'd they get the foul on? Looks like they, well, they ain't put it up yet. Uh, on number one, Eric Daniels. Eric Daniels. That's going to be his third, yep. Charlie. So Daniels and Maynard both with three fouls for Belfry and Stewart and Rigdon two fouls for Pike Central. Free throws no good. Rebound comes off in there to Jude. And he'll bring it up the floor. Jude brings it back out top. Gives it over to Rash. Rash backing out. Back, Rash picks up his dribble. He'll get it back to Jude. Jude trying to drive into the paint. Shot up and good. Boy, nice looking drive. Quickly going back the other way is Pike Central. That's Sloan. Jude, another freshman on that team, Charlie. Go back to Sloan, yeah. They're a young team. Yes. Under a minute to go, first half. Like Fox Central going to hold for one. Get back out to Sloan. Sloan will get it back again. Sloan out front. Sloan heads it off to Billiter. And Crumb. We're at 15 Billiter seconds. They go inside Knuckles, little shot in the lane, no good. Rebound comes off to Pike, to Belfry, and a foul on Pike Central. That's gonna go on Knuckles. And that is four team fouls, 8.8 .8 seconds left. Belfry will try to get the last shot off. They'll get it into the hands over here. The man they want, probably Rash, and he'll throw it a half-court shot. Oh, oh, off the back of the iron. And still had 1.2 seconds left, Charlie. He had a couple more dribbles if he had uh, chose to take them. Sloan throwing one up. No good. So at the end of the first half, 35-27, Pike Central. This is Intermountain Sports Network. Welcome to 2024. So while you're out breaking all those resolutions you made, Appalachian Wireless will help you keep the most important ones, saving money and staying connected. Appalachian Wireless is starting the new year with up to $600 off select devices. And that's with a new or renewed line on an Appalachian Advantage Unlimited plan or mix and match up to $600 off. So stay connected in 2024. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Terms and conditions apply. See AppalachianWireless.com for details. Not enough power? It's not okay. Weak Wi-Fi? Also not okay. These days, your home's got Wi-Fi connected gadgets and devices here, there, everywhere. And they all use more and more Wi-Fi. Until, luckily, an easy upgrade to Gearheart Broadband Internet and Plume Pole Home Wi-Fi makes it all okay. Contact Gearheart Broadband today for fast, reliable internet and Wi-Fi. As we start a fresh new year, it's a great time for a home Wi-Fi upgrade. For wireless devices, your internet's only as fast as your Wi-Fi. And with so many screens and gadgets, you need all the speed you can get. That's why Gearheart Broadband offers Plume Adaptive Wi-Fi to reach every corner of your home with no slow zones. Get maximum performance from our super fast, reliable speeds. Contact Gearheart Broadband and add Plume Wi-Fi for a great new year. 
When life's unfortunate events happen, we sometimes see people at their worst. That's why we make it our goal to give them our best. If you've been involved in an auto accident, have a workers' compensation, social security, or SSI claim, you need an attorney with proven results. You need John Earl Hunt. I'm attorney John Earl Hunt. I believe in the U.S. Constitution, and I support the American flag. I'm a country lawyer. I'd be honored to represent you in your case. I'll treat you right. I'll do the best I can to help you. The power of fiber makes your Gearheart fiber bundle even better. Fiber provides the highest bandwidth available to deliver more crystal clear HD, fast, reliable internet and Wi-Fi to power video streaming, gaming, and sharing on every device with no waiting. Plus, E911 secure fusion phone with unlimited local calling and popular features. Build your fiber-powered bundle. Call or visit Gearheart Fiber online to learn more. Now the big guy's left his cheer, and the wrapping's all undone. We've got great new toys and gear that need more speed to run. From tablets to our morning brew, our bandwidth needs keep growing, but an upgrade to the latest speeds keeps our precious Wi-Fi flowing. With lots of new gadgets around the house, it's time to step up to Gearheart Broadband Faster Internet and Plume Wi-Fi. Start the new year with an internet upgrade. Call or click imctv.com today. Gearheart Security is here to give you some peace of mind with our smart home security system. With 24-7 monitoring and access to your home cameras and other smart devices for our customers. Find out more about our smart home security solutions at gearheartsecurity.com or give us a call for a custom quote at 1-800-264-1730. We also have financing options available. Families matter with Gearheart Security. Dreaming of watching what you want, when you want, where you want? Stop dreaming and start streaming with Gearheart TV. Watch hundreds of choices on your favorite devices with the power of cloud DVR. Start over and replay TV. Personal profiles with parental controls. Free TV on demand. And TV everywhere to watch on mobile devices from anywhere. Gearheart TV makes your streaming dreams come true at great low rates. Get in touch now to sign up. Appalachian Wireless is not slowing down in the new year. In fact, this deal went so well, it's still going on. An iPhone 13, 128 gig for a penny. With a two-year contract on the mix and match or unlimited plan. New or renewed line. This is literally while supplies last. One penny for an iPhone 13, 128 gig. Terms and conditions do apply. See Appalachian Wireless for complete details. A new year, a new you, and a new device. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. In 2022, one in 200 Americans found themselves victims to cybercrime. Internet theft and open Wi-Fi networks are one way for criminals to access your personal information and devices. So what can you do to protect yourself? Always use a secure password for your home Wi-Fi network and get Plume Adaptive Wi-Fi from Gearheart Broadband. Starting at just $4.98 per month, you can have a custom Wi-Fi network with built-in security and parental controls. Find out more today at imctv.com slash plume and get protected. Welcome back to Pike County Central, 35-27 here at the half. And, yeah, you know, it's, it's been a tough uh, tough first half, Larry. It has been. Uh, a lot of fouls called on both teams. Uh, and it's kind of disrupted the flow of the game. Uh, not not an up and down game like we expected to see. A lot of foul shots uh, being shot. A uh, total of 11 in, uh, in the first half, both teams. Poor Belfry, they're... Led in scoring by Eric Rash, and actually he's the leading scorer in the game right now with 10 points. He had three three-pointers and one or two from the foul line. Two points for Eric Daniels, four points each for uh, McCaden Maynard and also Carter Jude. Two points for David Hagee and five for Hunter Hilton. Belfry was four of six from the foul line, hit three three-pointers. All three of those uh, was Rash. Turned it over seven times, won the rebounding battle 16 to 10, and they had seven offensive rebounds of the 10 rebounds Pike Central had. They had five uh, on their offensive end, so half of their rebounds were from the uh, offense on the offensive end. They were led in scoring by uh, Jaden Stewart uh, with nine points, eight points for Peyton Owens, six points for 
Jalen Rigdon, he had foul trouble, and I don't think he played the second he quarter at all, mate. Limited minutes. Uh, five points for Jacob Sloan, three for Grant Hall, and two for Jameer Knuckles for their total of 35 here at the half. They were three of five from the foul line. They had two three-pointers, uh, one from Stewart and uh, one from Sloan, and they turned it over five times. Uh, speaking of the fouls, uh, Rigdon and Stewart for Pike Central, both with two fouls. But on the other side, Eric Daniels and McCaden Maynard for Belfry, both with three. So they had seven fouls called against them, Belfry, and six of them was dished out between Daniels and Maynard. Yep, that's a big problem. Foul trouble for both of these teams, especially Pike Central. Their two, their two stars are sitting on the bench. Yes. So 35-27 here at the half. Pike Central with the lead. We'll take a break and be back with second half action in just a moment. This is Intermountain Sports Network. As we start a fresh new year, it's a great time for a home Wi-Fi upgrade. For wireless devices, your internet's only as fast as your Wi-Fi. And with so many screens and gadgets, you need all the speed you can get. That's why Gearheart Broadband offers Plume Adaptive Wi-Fi to reach every corner of your home with no slow zones. Get maximum performance from our super fast, reliable speeds. Contact Gearheart Broadband and add Plume Wi-Fi for a great new year. Now the big guy's left his cheer and the wrapping's all undone. We've got great new toys and gear that need more speed to run. From tablets to our morning brew, our bandwidth needs keep growing, but an upgrade to the latest speeds keeps our precious Wi-Fi flowing. With lots of new gadgets around the house, it's time to step up to Gearheart Broadband, Faster Internet, and Plume Wi-Fi. Start the new year with an internet upgrade. Call or click imctv.com today. Gearheart Security is here to give you some peace of mind with our smart home security system. With 24-7 monitoring and access to your home cameras and other smart devices, our customers. Find out more about our smart home security solutions at GearheartSecurity.com or give us a call for a custom quote at 1-800-264-1730. We also have financing options available. Families matter with Gearheart Security. Welcome to 2024. So while you're out breaking all those resolutions you made, Appalachian Wireless will help you keep the most important ones, saving money and staying connected. Appalachian Wireless is starting the new year with up to $600 off select devices. And that's with a new or renewed line on an Appalachian Advantage Unlimited plan or mix and match up to $600 off. So stay connected in 2024. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Terms and conditions apply. See AppalachianWireless.com for details. Welcome back to the Hawks Nest. As we're at the half, 35-27, Pike Central over Belfry. Just about 40 seconds away from getting this started here in the second half. And looks like Belfry will have the basketball to get started, Charlie. Yeah, uh, you know, see if they can, how they can do after that first half. Both teams uh, have two starters in foul trouble. P Belfry worse, you know, with two with three. Pike Central, they're two, they're two best players with two fouls apiece. So, well, Stewart played a whole, uh, a, a several minutes in that with, uh, third yeah. quarter. He had six points uh, in the third quarter, but uh, Rigdon, uh, he didn't play any, and that's that's the engine that uh, runs that team. You know, uh, Rigdon, uh, he's a good defensive player, but uh, uh, give him the basketball in his hands, and if nobody on the floor can beat him from no. one end to the other of them, so uh, Pike Central had to settle for a lot of half-court offense that time. Didn't uh, really get to break uh, started like they normally do. And going to come back with the starting five here. And Will Belfry. Let's see. Nope. They will not. Belfry will have well, it. Well, uh, let's see. Uh, Daniels is on the floor with the three fouls. Yeah, I got he is. Yep. Maynard is, too. They're both uh, there. Yep. Yes, Maynard's there, too. They've, uh, they've started their... Starting five, both teams. Jude with it out front, gives it over quickly to Rash. They work it out top. There is Daniels with it. Rash again goes down to Jude. Inside, they go down on the baseline. Shot up and good in there by Hagee, Bryce Hagee. And that's his first bucket of the night, Charlie. Stewart gives it back out top to uh, Hall. 
Now it'll be Rigdon with it. Rigdon gets it over to Sloan. Back to Hall. Back to Sloan now. Sloan takes it in. Little runner puts it up off the guy's and one. And see who they give that foul to. I think like it's going to go David I think she Hagen. Said, no. Said I was getting ready to say she said three, Maynard. That's, that's his, his fourth. fourth. Yep. Less than a minute to go uh, here in. Uh, Less than a minute oh, gone. A no, minute gone, yep. uh, excuse me, here in the third quarter. And he picks that fourth foul up. Three throws, good. 38 29, Pike Central. And they will walk it up the floor. Now they're going to be double teamed. That's going to be a jump ball. And that's go to Pike Central. Yep. On the good side of your pipe bell for you, we're putting a foul on Daniels. Stewart into the front, or Rigdon in the front court to Stewart. Or ain't to Sloan. I'll get her out of your minute. There's Adams. Rigdon. Sloan. Back out top to Hall. Stewart in the corner. Cross court he goes. And I'll tell you, uh, Jacob Sloan thought about that one. Yes. Rigdon with the drive and the basket. And that's what he can do. That's what they missed in that first half. Yes. Somebody that can penetrate and get to the bucket. And do that, too, with the steal. Yes. Rigdon coming back into the front court, takes it down the lane, shot up, and foul on the floor, they're going to say. Maybe Jude. Yes. Zero Jude, yep. That's his first. Two quick team fouls, though, for Belfry. They'll throw it over the top. Sloan will go into the backcourt and get it. Good decision by Sloan not to chase that one. Right. Rigdon takes it into the lane. Steps back. Free throw line jumper is good. Nobody came out to get him. He was kind of surprised, too. Now yeah, he gave that ball fake and uh, looked around and he was open, so why not shoot it? You got a free throw. Try to go into the front court. Daniels gives it up. There's a drive and... Ball blocked out of bounds on Bryce Hagee. It'll be best stay with Belfry. Stewart with the block. Belfry will have it on the baseline. Jude looking to throw it in. Throws it over top. Out there to Rash. Gets it back. Jude throws it out this time. I'm trying to drive Daniels. He'll throw it out. There's Hagee to Hagee. Bryce Hagee with the basket. Assist to David Hagee. Don't know if we're brothers or not, but they might have seen that happen Maybe in the backyard so, yeah. a time or two. Stewart with the spin and he'll get the harm. And uh, maybe Bryce That's Hagee. That's what it looks that like, one? I think, yeah. Yes. His first, team's third, Stewart at the line for two. Stewart misses the first one. And these are his first free throws of the night. He's got one more. Misses on both. And let's see. I'm going to try to find out his. Well, that's the wrong one. It's girls. <laughs> going to do me good. And they'll bring it up the floor. Jude. And nearly stolen away, but nice pickup by Daniels. Down to David Hagee for two. And the Hagee boys have come out here in this third quarter. Yep. Got all six points for Belfry. Stewart gets it down back from Adams. They get it now over to Hall. Stewart is 74% free throw shooter. Hall goes inside to uh, Stewart. Can't get it to go. Pike Central with the rebound. Shot up. No in there that time by Jacob Sloan. And it'll stay with Pike Central. And the Pikes will have it in the corner. They'll get it back out top. Hall with it now. Goes into the corner to Stewart. Stewart will bring it back out front. Now they'll get it to Rigdon. Rigdon dribbling around out front. Now they, there's a Hall for a three. Hall's free in and out. Rigdon with the rebound. Goes up and he'll be fouled. And that'll be probably David Hagee. Yes, that's going to be his second. 
Back center with three consecutive offensive rebounds. And they finally get rigged into the foul line. He's two of two from there tonight. He's got 10 points so far. Making up for that lost time, isn't he? Free throw is up and good. 43-33 Pike Central. And checking in for Belfry is Hunter Hilton. Rigged in second free throw is good. And Pike Central in that 2 2 1 press. And Jude in the backcourt. Throws it ahead over there, and it'll be going we'll call a foul. I thought he knocked it out of bounds. Well, he did. But the official said he got him on the arm, so that's Grant Hall's second. Team's first here in this third quarter. I hope both of them have a deep bench. Out top with it, Jude. Hagee in the paint. Good, David Hagee. He's got four. Bryce Hagee with four here in this third quarter. Only scoring for the Pirates. Rigdon with it out front. Step back three. Good. Rigdon had six the first half, Charlie. He's got nine here in the quarter. Into the front court with it. There's going to be a jump ball. It's going to stay with Bell. Yep. <coughs> Coach Hagee trying to get a timeout, yeah, but uh, <coughs> he did, didn't realize that he had the uh, possession arrow. I think she'd already made the call, too. Nice pass down underneath. And Hilton turned around no good. Rebound comes off to Stewart. And Stewart has it stolen away and laying it up and in is Rush, Rash. Rash. Out top, and trying to go down in the corner with it. Back, there's Sloan. 47-37. Ball tip back out to Rigdon. 47-37, Pike Central, and we're gonna get a foul on Belfry. And that's that will be on Eric Rash. Rash, I mean, Zade Rash. And that's gonna be his first, that's five team fouls. Coach Hagee's wanting to push off on uh, Rigdon. Rigdon at the line. Free throw, good. 48-37. Jalen trying to make up for that lost time in that second quarter. Yep. Second one's good as well. 49-37, Pike Central. 308 to play here in the third. Pike Central again in that full court pressure. And they beat that one easily. They get it over to Daniels. He'll throw it back out there. There's a three. No good out there by Jude. Fight for the rebound. And boy, strength right there. Peyton Owens, he has come to play in the paint. And let's see who they got the foul on. Looks like it. 44, made. Hagee. That's his third. David Hagee, that's his third. And that's five team fouls already, Charlie. 252 left here, third quarter. So that's going to send Peyton Owens to the line for two. He's not been there so far. Misses the free throw. Hagee saying something out there to. Jaden Stewart smiled, just went like that. You know, a good conversation. I like to see that with coaches. There's a miss on the second. The rebound comes off in there to uh, Hilton. Get it back. Ball tipped up. Hagee goes and gets it. Gets it down inside and laying it in is Hunter Hilton. Nice passing that time. That's second assist for uh, David Hagee it here is. in the corner. 49-39, Pike Central, 227 to play. There's a three on its way. Stewart, no. Strong rebound in there. And almost come, going down for the walk in there was Hilton. There's a three on the other end by Rash, and he's fouled. On the three-point shot. And Sloan. Sloan is going to get that one. Shooting foul. 
So three shots coming now for uh, Rash. I would assume he's a pretty good free throw shooter, Larry. Well, he's one of two well, tonight, one of three now. <laughs> Might be a little too close for him. Maybe, well, you're right. He made three three-pointers. Makes the second one. He is a 69% free throw shooter. That's not too bad. Got substitutions coming in for Pike Central, Jaden, or Caden Crumb, sorry. 13 points for Rash so far. Missed the second one. Rebound comes, our third one, sorry. Comes the other way, Stewart, I mean, Rigdon. Owens, nice step through. Can't get it to go all the way down. And it'll be stolen away. Coming back the other way with it. Ball knocked loose by Peyton Owens. I tell you, he's played hard tonight. He has. Back the other way, Stewart with the basket. 51-40, Pike Central. Yeah, made a bad pass on one end, but he didn't uh, uh, didn't get him down. He just made miss the other end and made the defensive stop. Rash will miss on the other end. Stewart drives end to end, lays it in. A little behind, well, behind the back action. Yeah, a little showboating there. 2-1-2 two, two, two pressure again. Belfry beats it easily. They go down inside. Oh, huh, and... <laughs> Peyton Owens, I'm telling you, I'll be impressed with his play today. Stewart lays it off the glass on the other end. 55-40, Pike Central, minute 14 to play here in the third quarter. We've got a timeout on the floor, and let's see what it is. It is a 30-second timeout, so we'll stay right here with it, Larry. Well, Pike Central sitting down on the bench, so Belfry's standing up, you know, and they confirm it is a 30 second timeout yeah and you can see the difference in Pike Central's offense with Jalen Rigdon on yes, the uh, floor big here difference. in this third quarter yeah you're exactly right Rigdon makes a big difference in this team he's got 11 here in the quarter and Stewart has got six so they've got 17 between them in the quarter and Belfry as a team has got 13. I tell you, Peyton Owens has really impressed me here today, the way he's played. He's played hard offensively and defensively. He's got eight points, uh, missed uh, the two free throws last trip down, but he got, he plays a good Florida game. He does. Well, you know, most a lot of people looks at points to see uh, how a player plays, but it's not just points. No, you're exactly right. That Florida game means a lot. There's a throwaway, and it'll go back to Fox Central. And Belfry now is up to 11 turnovers had seven at the half I'll get it back let rig and bring it into the front court yeah it's a danger time right now for Belfry they had the lead down to six at one time early in this quarter now it's they're down by 15 I'll get it back now to Rigdon Rigdon gets it over to Adams back to Rigdon again Rigdon Gets rid of it down inside. Shots up and good in there. That's Brad Billiker. That's his second bucket of the night. I'm simply staying in that uh, pressure. Nice job beating it this time. And blocking there by Peyton Owens. Peyton Owens, there he is, showing up again. It'll stay with Belfry. 20 seconds left here in this third quarter. 57-40, Pike Central. And they'll get it back out front. And up, going to catch him for the crow hop. Yep. Pike Central defense caused that when he was trying to get it over into the corner to Rash, and defender stepped in front of him, so tried to draw that pass back. Already shoved Already, his yep, feet. Yep. So Pike Central will hold it for one shot here with 10 seconds left in the quarter. Stewart, go down into Billiker, back out to Rigdon. Rigdon kicks it back to Stewart. Deep three, Stewart, and off the front of the rim, no good. 57-40 at the end of three. Pike Central over Belfry, this is Intermountain Sports Network. When life's unfortunate events happen, we sometimes see people at their worst. That's why we make it our goal to give them our best. If you've been involved in an auto accident, have a workers' compensation, social security, or SSI claim, you need an attorney with proven results. You need John Earl Hunt. 
I'm Attorney John Earl Hunt. I believe in the U.S. Constitution and I support the American flag. I'm a country lawyer. I'd be honored to represent you in your case. I'll treat you right. I'll do the best I can to help you. Dreaming of watching what you want, when you want, where you want? Stop dreaming and start streaming with Gearheart TV. Watch hundreds of choices on your favorite devices with the power of cloud DVR. Start over and replay TV. Personal profiles with parental controls. Free TV on demand. And TV everywhere to watch on mobile devices from anywhere. Gearheart TV makes your streaming dreams come true at great low rates. Get in touch now to sign up. And we're back at the Hawks Nest, ready for fourth quarter action as Pike Central extends a eight-point halftime lead to 17 points. Charlie, 57 to 40 as uh, they outscore uh, Belfry in the third quarter and Rigdon and Stewart, 17 points between the two of them. Belfry with only 13 as a team. Yeah, you know, that's a, they're a tough combination. Get it to Stewart, back over to Rigdon, goes in the drive, can't get it to go. Rebound comes off to Maynard, who's back into the ball game. A spin there is going to be a steal by Rigdon and a foul on Belfry. I can't see. And is that, uh, give me the number, I can't see it. 12, okay. Number 12 in the lineup. Yep, that's uh, Keaton Deskins. Keaton Deskins, that's his first. Rigdon and Stewart managed to play that third quarter without picking up another foul, so they've still got the two, but on Belfry side, Maynard, just a minute into that third quarter, picked up his fourth. Yep. And let's see, he's back out on the floor, though. Well, you got Might it. as well. You yep. got it down 17, May. You got to go with your best yep. players. Hall tries to go inside, knocked away, stolen. Here we go back the other way with it. Hagee takes it in, gives it up, and laying it up and in is da Deskins. Deskins. Right off the bench, scores the first bucket. Hall with it out front. Down the corner, there's three, no good by Adams, and Belfry runs it down. That's Keaton, and it will stay with Pike Central. Good job underneath. If you'll turn around, that is uh, Jacob Sloan throwing it off the Belfry defender. And they'll try to throw it over top to Sloan. Hall, Stewart, Rigdon out of the corner for three. In and out. Rebound comes off. Inside to Jude, and we got a foul. And that foul would have been called on Blake Adams. That's his second. You ain't been in the game very long if you only got one foul. No. Ball back in the hands of Jude. Out. And now we're going to get a foul. That's going to be Stewart, maybe. Nope. Yeah, we're going to call it on Stewart. That's going to be his third. 57 42, 644 left. District game. First one for Pike Central. And we're going to get a foul. Is that going to be on Adams again? Yep. That's going to be his third. That's going to send Jude to the line. He's two of two from the line with four points. Free throws up and good. Five eight freshman. Makes one of two. Stewart with the rebound. He'll get it up the floor quickly to Hall. All driving down in the paint. Nice pass over to Adams. Shot up and good. Nice driving dish that time by Hall. And that's Adams' first points of the night, Charlie. And bringing it up the floor quickly was Jude. Shot in the paint. No good. Rebound, though, comes off to Hagee. Three out of the corner. No. And that was Rash. 
And Stewart drives into the paint, kicks it back outside. And they'll get it back to Stewart. Stewart, nice pass down underneath. Nice, good job not making a bad play there, Stewart. And he'll be picked up and fouled by Jude. Jude second. Team second. And checking in for Belfry is number five, Hunter Hilton. And Deskins, 12, 12. Deskins. Mike Central have it. Corner, Stewart, three, good. That's his second of the night. Deskins in the backcourt gives it up to Jude. Jude, double nice pass down to Hagee. Hagee goes up and under. Nice move. By, that was put in by Hunter, Dan, Hunter Hilton. Another good pass by yep. Hagee. And another drive by Stewart for two. Stewart now with 20 points tonight. And quiet 22. Yes. It? And they're going to throw it down court. And there's blocked in there by Stewart on Hunter Hilton. Rigdon back the other way. He'll pull up from the elbow. Good. And Rigdon with 19. 39 between the two of them. They'll throw it ahead. And Belfry. Well, nice save. save by Hagee. And we're going to get jump ball foul. Jump ball, I think. Well, I never saw a sign. I guess it was a jump ball. Yeah. 66-45, Pike Central with 450 to play. And McCaden Maynard coming back into the lineup with his four fouls. Got four fouls and four points. I'm surprised nobody from one side or the other hadn't been fouled out by now. Well, we got nearly five minutes. Well, I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> Jude with it out front. Gives it up. And we're going to get a foul on I Adams. Owens or Adams. Adams, yep. That's going to be his fourth. Yep. He's picked most of them up here in this quarter. Three of them. And that's four team fouls. Fight Central stretched the lead out to 21 points. Jude wants to drive into the lane, backed out. <laughs> and he'll be lost out of bounds. And that's 15 turnovers now for Belfry. Pike Central standing right now at eight. Caden Crum will check in, and Adams will go to the bench with four fouls. Rigdon will walk it up the floor. Down into the corner. Crum, ball tipped. Stewart will run it down. I mean, Rigdon will run it down. There's a three out of the corner. Crum, no good. Rebound comes off in there to Hall. Back outside, three on its way by Sloan, no good. Pike Central with another rebound, but they throw it away. Rash bringing it into the front court, and he's going to be fouled. And that should be on Grant Hall, I believe. And that's going to be his third, and that will send Belfry to the free throw line the rest of the ball game. For two foul shots. 3.55 left, 66 45. Missed the free throw. Rash now only two of six from the foul line. And makes the second one. Quickly back the other way. And Sloan kicks it into the corner. Three on its way by. And rebound Stewart puts it back up and in off the Caden Crumb miss. Just tip, kept tipping that until yep. himself until he controlled it and then laid it in. And we're going to get another foul. That may be Hall again. Nope, that's going to be Sloan. His second. Rash back to foul line, and he split a pair the last trip down. Free throws up. This one, no good. Yeah. 
Rash, five, seven freshmen, as we've said before. One more free throw coming, 335 to play, makes the second one, 68-47, Pike Central. Hall gets it back out to Owens, over to Hall, and we're going to get a foul on Jude. It's going to be Jude's third. Three team fouls for Belfry. And it'll be Mike Central to throw it inside to Rig or into Riggin. Rig will bring it down the floor. Take it down the paint. A little runner good. Cannot let him penetrate. Well, he can get that anytime he wants, Charlie. Quickly back the other way. Maynard lays it up. No. Rebound Owens. Owens loses it. Picked up again in there by Jude. There's Maynard, little jumper in the lane. Nope. Gets his own rebound. And Jump ball. Tied up. That'll go to Pike Central. Man, it'll be. Officials had to run the ball down. Pike Central will get it in. And back to Hall. Hall has it stolen. Laid up and in by Rash. Rash just took it away from him and laid it in. Throw it down the corner back to Hall. Hall in the middle to Rigdon into Owens. Owens got by with a walk. Yes. Rigdon drives into the lane. Shot up. No. Rebound. And what are we going to have? Jump, jump ball. ball. And it's going to go to Belfry. It's a jump ball. Why do you watch and see if the ball is going to go in or not? Two thirty-seven to go. Seventy forty-nine. Pike Central. Rigdon stepped out of bounds. Was trying to get that one. <laughs> yeah. Trying to take the possession. Yeah. Rash into the front court. Drives into the lane. Shot up. No. Rebound. Goes out. Thrown out of bounds by McCaden Maynard. Pike Central ball. Belfry's done a good job on the boards, Charlie. They've got 27 rebounds. Pike Central at 25. But they've thrown it away, the Pirates has, 16 times. Knuckles back into the ball game for Pike Central. Rigdon kicks it back out top to come. They go down inside, Stewart for two. Beautiful Good pass yep. that time by yep. Knuckles. Yep, Knuckles laid it right in his hands. 72-49. 2.03 to play. Pike Central leading. 24 points now for Stewart. Maynard shot in the lane. No good. Rebound Stewart. Stewart gets it ahead to Adams. Adams, nice pass. Or, I'm sorry, pass was to Adams from Crum. And what did we get called? Foul on the shot. Okay. Why did I ask I don't know. <laughs> so Adams will be at the line to shoot two shots. And that's going to go against. That was on number three, Maynard. Maynard, that's out. five. He, he gone. First free throw good. And Blake Andrew Adams. Rhodes just checked in. 32 for Belfry. Free throws, no good. Rebound. Bryce Hagee. Hagee going back the other way. Pulls up, tries to go down inside, and almost picked up in there by Daniels. Knocked out. It'll be back court. It'll be Belfry basketball. 136 to play, 73 49. And what we got? We got uh, Harvey, Omari Harvey checking in. And yeah, number 34, Colton Young. Colton Young. And there's Jude, bringing it up the floor. Jude gets it over to Hagee. Hagee trying to go down low, and we're going to get a foul. Yeah, I think that's going to go against Harvey. It is. That's his first. first. We've got 
Bryce Hagee at the line. He hasn't been there tonight. Free throw's good. 73-50 with a minute 26 to play. Pike Central leading. And second was no good. Rebound comes off to Hall for Pike Central. Hall comes into the front court with it. Knuckles back to Hall. And he'll get it back to Knuckles again. Gets it over to Crum. Hall. Now, ooh. And I thought that, had to say that, that ball went everywhere. And Harvey gets it. He'll kick it back out. We got a whistle. I guess we got a foul. I think they caught that on Knuckles down they low. Did. That's his second. Belfry and basketball. Why not shots? Yeah. He um, didn't he didn't have the ball. I mean it's on the offensive end. He didn't have the ball, but if you're working under the bucket for rebound position, that's three not an offensive on his way, no. And it'll be Pike Central ball on the miss by Zaid Rash. And we got Zach Thacker in the ball game for Pike Central. In the hall. Hall pushing it up the floor. Nice pass underneath and they're over to Harvey. <laughs> Pike Central comes away with it to get it inside the knuckles. He'll get two. They were determined to get that one down low yes, to somebody, yep. was it? Into the front court, Jew. Shot up and good. Got a nice roll on that one. 15 seconds left, 75 52, Pike Central. And Hall will be able, he'll have to bring it across the timeline, won't he? Yep. And that should do it if Belfry doesn't want to do anything about it. And then they don't. 75 52, Pike County Central over Belfry. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. This is Intermountain Sports Network. Appalachian Wireless is not slowing down in the new year. In fact, this deal went so well, it's still going on. An iPhone 13, 128 gig for a penny. With a two-year contract on the mix and match or unlimited plan. New or renewed line. This is literally while supplies last. One penny for an iPhone 13, 128 gig. Terms and conditions do apply. See Appalachian Wireless for complete details. A new year, a new you, and a new device. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. When life's unfortunate events happen, we sometimes see people at their worst. That's why we make it our goal to give them our best. If you've been involved in an auto accident, have a workers' compensation, social security, or SSI claim, you need an attorney with proven results. You need John Earl Hunt. I'm attorney John Earl Hunt. I believe in the U.S. Constitution, and I support the American flag. I'm a country lawyer. I'd be honored to represent you in your case. I'll treat you right. I'll do the best I can to help you. Gearheart Security is here to give you some peace of mind with our smart home security system. With 24-7 monitoring and access to your home cameras and other smart devices for our customers. Find out more about our smart home security solutions at GearheartSecurity.com or give us a call for a custom quote at 1-800-264-1730. We also have financing options available. Families matter with Gearheart Security. Welcome back to Pike County Central. Pike Central coming away with the big win. And, Larry, give me some numbers. All righty, Charlie. First four, Belfry. They were led in scoring tonight by Eric Rash with 17 points. He had three three-pointers. Seven points for Carter Jude. Two points for Eric Daniels. Four for McCaden Maynard, and he fouled out of the game. Had five points for Bryce Hagee. Six for David Hagee. Nine for Hunter Hilton and two points for Heaton Deskins for a total of 52. They were nine of 17 from the foul line, had the three three-pointers. Like I said, all those, Eric Rash turned it over 16 times, nine of those in the second half. Rebounding-wise, had 27 rebounds and 10 of those off the offensive end. For Pike Central, 
They were led in scoring by the two big guns that uh, carries this team uh, the majority of the time. Jaden Stewart with 24 and Rigdon, Jalen Rigdon with 21 and he done all of his work in three quarters. Yep. And actually two and a half quarters because he didn't play very much very in much that in fourth first, quarter. Yeah. And or the fourth. Uh, excuse me, that's what I meant, fourth quarter. Uh, Jacob Sloan with eight, also Peyton Owens with eight, three each for Grant Hall and Blake Adams, and four each for Jabir Knuckles and Brad Billiter for their total of 75. Free throw shooting, nine of 16. So they, they was right at uh, where Belfry's at. Belfry shot 17 free throws and Pike Central shot 16. Four three-pointers in the game for Pike Central, and they turned it over 11 times, six of those in the second half. So 75-52 Pike Central as they will improve their record to 10 and 7, 1 and 0 in the district. Belfry will fall to 5 and 10 and 0 and 2 in the district. Pike Central and Phelps now tied in that district, but Pike Central coming away with a big win. We'll see how this turns out for this season. This uh, district race is getting tight as it we go is. down the stretch. Yes, it is. And before we uh, sign off, uh, I'd like to remind everyone that we'll be back on the air tomorrow night coming to you from. The Junior Noose Marina down at Betsy Lane as we got a doubleheader down there. It'll be a district matchup, uh, Betsy Lane and Floyd Central. All right, so 75-52 the finals. Pike Central wins it. So for Larry Cecil, for Adam Gearhart and Alex back at the radio station, and also for Wayne Fugit, this is Charlie Pinson. We'll see you tomorrow on the Intermountain Sports Network.